Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. In a diploid organism the genes A, B and C are present in the same chromosome on the same chromosome in that order. The AB interval is 10 map units and BC interval is 20 map units. In an heterozygous individual what will be the proportion of gametes that um, carry the genotype capital A, small b and capital C. So first of all uh, let me draw uh, a picture. So we have one chromatid here and here is going to be another homologous chromatid. And during uh, meiosis uh, let's say here we also have location for the gene A, here we have location for the gene B and here for the gene C. But on the other homologous chromosome at the same loci we may have um, different alleles. For example recessive allele A here, recessive allele B here and recessive allele C here. So what we are missing in this picture? We are missing uh, another um, pair of uh, chromatids. During meiosis do not forget that each chromosome would make a copy of itself. So uh, we would have here actually a tetrasome. So we would have uh, two copies of uh, one chromosome, say this is chromosome from the mother side and we would have two copies of another chromosome uh, that is from the came from the father side. So let's say this is going to be uh, chromosome number 3. So during meiosis we would see such a tetrasome and according to our problem between uh, genes A and B we have 10 map units and between genes B and C we have 20 map units. So what these map units would tell us? Basically this number directly relates to the frequency of the crossing over between these uh, two genes. For example, crossing over may happen here and also may happen here. But because uh, the distance between gene B and C is twice bigger than between uh, gene A and B, that gives us opportunity or uh, opportunity for uh, chromosomes to have also more places where these two chromosomes or two non-sister chromatids where uh, these two non-sister chromatids may cross over. So basically uh, this just gives us a frequency of the crossing over between two points. And now we can answer a question. Uh, so uh, basically frequency of the crossing over between gene A and B happens with the frequency of 10%. So uh, 0 0.1 and frequency between crossing over between genes B and C happens with a frequency of uh, 0 0.2. So what is the probability that we would have two crossing overs, uh, one here and another one here. So this may happen uh, in a case uh, with a frequency 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So we have to multiply these frequencies and we are going to get a frequency of the um, event uh, which is going to be 0 
2 or we can say this would equals to 2 percent but we don't have such an answer here why take a look again at our picture out of four chromatids only two would participate in crossing over and two wouldn't participate in crossing over so in gametes one would be uh, the same uh, as uh, maternal without any crossing over one would be the same original paternal and only two uh, would have crossing over and different variants possible crossing over may happen only here with uh, probability 10 percent it may happen only here with probability 20 percent or it may happen simultaneously in two places so we have to multiply these two probabilities and we are going to get two percent but we also have to take into account that two out of four is not going to participate in crossing over so let's adjust our calculations actually our calculations uh, would look as follows so 0 0.1 probability of crossing over between gene a and b we have to multiply by the probability of crossing over between gene b and c and we have to multiply by 0 0.5 uh, which represents that only two out of four two out of four is one half or 0 0.5 participate in crossing over and would form a gamut so we would have four gametes and only two out of four uh, would be result of the crossing over so in this case we are going to get 0 0.01 which is one um, percent and as you see this is answer a one more time in order to get such an order of genes on the same chromosome uh, two crossing overs have to happen uh, so we should get uh, crossing over here then we should get crossing over here and here is going to be an order on this uh, new uh, chromosome that is result of the crossing over we would have dominant allele A here recessive allele B here and dominant allele C here so two crossing over have to happen and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye